The Fish River flows from Scraggy Lake to Charlotte Lake, which can be found in the Ship Harbor Long Lake Wilderness Area. Ship Harbor, along with the adjacent White Lake and Tangier Grand Lake, make up an assemblage of protected lands on the eastern shore of Nova Scotia, which are larger than Kejimikujik, with three times as many lakes. Looking for a similar route to our previous trip, we landed on the Fish River, which would start us paddling across a four kilometer stretch of open water on Scraggy Lake. The guys got back and the wind hasn't died down, so we've been waiting to see if it gets below 70 kilometers an hour, which it is currently. It's getting on to noon. Uh, we're thinking we, we found a route that could get us at least halfway, jumping behind islands. And then we hope after that, the wind's died down enough that we can make the jump across the main lake to the head of Fish River. It's gonna be some fun white water before we even get to the river. So we made it about two kilometers until we got stuck. I'll show you what it looks like when we're not on the leeward side. turned the corner uh, facing directly west into the oncoming winds and we've been pinned here by the wind for probably about an hour or more uh, patiently waiting for it to calm down uh, we'll get there but it's gonna be some patience involved yeah is the wind still bad <laughs> I think it's switched I think it's moving I think it's moving to the north good for paddling <laughs> yeah, great for battling. Ideal. <laughs> After losing more than half a day to wind, we finally made it to the head of the Fish River. Alright, so an update. It's about 7 o'clock. We got to this site. We did find enough space though for three tents for the night so it'll have to do it's gonna be getting dark soon anyways it's pretty much a bog so in the summer this would be a pretty tough spot to set up camp for the night So we're just packing up on camp here. Uh, we had a hearty breakfast and we have about 10 kilometers more to paddle today. It's gonna be mostly rapids, very shallow and rocky with the odd pool and still water. Should be a good day. The weather is looking great. Hopefully not as windy as yesterday. It was pretty ridiculous, but we're gonna be on a narrow river for the rest of the day. Should be a good one. Hopefully we catch some fish. I think I'm going to push the boat off and get some casts in. Ten inches.
Nice fish. I just missed three here. Dave just got one too. They're all stacked up here. That's a jungle. Jungle. Yeah, it's pretty dangerous kind of going down through here. It kind of looks like there's a big sweeper really far down there that's nearly impossible to see. So instead of taking the chance, I'm going to go over here to the right shore underneath this heart. Probably get out of the boat there and line down until I can see what's actually going on. We just had to do some lining at the end of these rapids, and this is why. A monster tree, old growth, crossing the river. Trout. Gorgeous. Put her back. Whew. We got to a pretty big set of rapids here, and Dave's going to run it. Done. Oh my God. We decided to take a quick break. We found out that we're most likely gonna get to the car by dark. So we're gonna reward ourselves with some food and maybe some fishing. the colors on her. I was goner. I don't know how I stayed up. 
I like read in that like uh, turn cycle, I was sideways going like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice work. Good one. Yeah. Well, I got the heart going for sure. As we continued down the river, the final three kilometers consisted of fun class one to class two rapids. For this river, the water levels were perfect, but any later in the year, many of these sections would have required lining or portaging. Thank you.